We see people in need. People faced with life's challenges. We see possibilities of improving the quality of their lives. Thanks to our imagination, we take innovative actions. Today, we are going to show you how we help the most demanding target groups. Using the best economic and business solutions, we are building the brighter future. Our ideas cannot be implemented without us. We are Inactus, University of Łódź. Rafał. Kasia. Kacper. Olga. And Wojtek. And Here. Monika. <laughs> Here there are six of us, but we represent 23 students from six faculties like Faculty of Economics and Sociology, Faculty of Philology, and Faculty of Computer Science. Wood is not only the place where we live, but it's also the source of inspiration for our projects. Sign me in, <coughs> the home straight, and Eco Farm. This is Andrzej. Andrzej is a young, ambitious student of computer graphics. He could possibly get a very good job, but Andrzej, like 7 million people in Poland, has a hearing problem. And 1 million out of them suffer from severe hearing impairments. These are huge numbers for a country where 38 million people live. People with hearing difficulties speak Polish Sign Language. Because its structure differs widely from the syntax of our native Polish language, many of the deaf often do not understand written text. Hence, there is little chance of them receiving a good education and as a result getting a dream job. What is more, employers often regard hearing impaired employees as risky and decide not to employ them. Our project was created two years ago as Learn and Discover. Its aim was to teach deaf children fundamentals of entrepreneurship. Last year, we identified needs and problems of the deaf of working age, and in this way, Simon was made. With the help of famous portal Megapiel, we created a special web application which teaches how to write a CV or a cover letter. It is also essential to reach employers and to make a means of contact between them and employees. It should present the hearing impaired as solid, ambitious and action-oriented employees. The platform with job advertisements ensures permanent contact between those two groups. During last year we've met a lot of deaf people and we understood how many problems they have to face on the labour market. This year we've decided to expand our application. Now it helps deaf people directly. Not only it teaches the heart of hearing how to write it, but also gives the opportunity to generate finished documents. Additionally, we are trying to engage other actions that helps deaf people. Such actions, actions include, among others, helping to organize a conference Zauważ Nasze Słowa, held by Migam PL, which is an excellent event that supports the deaf people minority. We don't want to leave our beneficiaries just with the knowledge. So, we take one step further. We speak to potential employers. We introduce them to our campaign called Nimigaise Daj Szanse, which is based on our cooperation with a portal Praca.pl. We are preparing with them a special subpage with materials for the deaf and for the employers. We merge education with a direct access to job offers. We present employers all the, pro all the profits they can obtain through employing this social group. We made a network of connections with groups and fan pages that support this environment. Our application and campaign impacted over a thousand people throughout the country. Application itself has 760 views and there were 25 documents generated. Our campaigns page had already 150 guests. We're in talks with dozens of potential employers. The campaign Nimigai Shedai Shanse should improve image of the representatives of that social group as valuable employees. We introduce deaf people like Andre to innovative sectors of work, but we will tell more about it later. We expect that cooperation with Jap Portal Prasa PL 
and improvement communication between employers and the applicants for a job will result in an increasing employment of those persons. But we don't want to stop there. We still talk to potential employers. We try to build as much interest to both sides our prepare campaign. And we are still working on the next modules of our application. People with limited access to education and unequal access to the labor market are increasingly coming out of the niche. Above all, they are treated in equal terms as with other candidates but their employers. This stimulates them to take on, uh, take, uh, on their own challenges, such as starting their own business and applying for a demanding position. And now, our new project, the home trade. The homeless are perceived as people who are not able to deal with the most trivial and minor problems. However, for us, they are common people, but in an extremely difficult situation and need our help. Homelessness is first and foremost a social phenomenon. There are many different factors contributing to homelessness, like alcoholism, the breakdown of the family, a lack of education or a job loss. <coughs> Data is frightening. There are about 1,200 people who are homeless in Łódź. Spending on social service is a serious financial problem for the city. About half a million lotus are to be spent on, uh, on social service in 2014. The situation of the homeless is extremely difficult. That's why we've created a project that will enable them to find a steady job, to provide their basic needs. This will boost their self-confidence and enable them to gain acceptance in society. Our beneficiaries will enter on the final home straight, a home which was for many of them beyond the wildest dreams. Talking to the homeless and their caseworkers and cooperating with the foundation Yateme, we are trying to find the root of a problem with secondary socialization of this group. Little motivation and a lack of education are basic difficulties. So, together with the association Abacus, we are running a secondary socialization prog program. We organize authorial English courses, soft skills and entrepreneurship trainings. We collaborate with many social cooperatives. One of them is Communal Service in Brezine, which has already employed two men. And the other one has employed three men from our target group. And another social cooperative is going to join hands with us next month. We are successfully looking for a job for the homeless. We believe in giving men a fishing pole, not the fish. Our actions fall uh, in the spirit of entrepreneurship. We are trying to create innovative employment prospects. We have already applied to foundations for an endowment. Thanks to this, we will be able to buy 3D printer that will produce decorations and toys in an eco-friendly way. We cooperate with hearing impaired graphic designer from Sami In. We have already steady sales channel. People from the home street will pack printed products and deliver them to the shops like Mebloteca Yellow. We also use eco-friendly packaging for our products. Two people have already joined the group that helps to clean up the environment. Thanks to the home street, our target group is given a chance to change profoundly their life and the image of the whole group. It is possible due to their determination and entrepreneurship. So far, as many as 20 people have undergone 10 trainings which were organized by us. Thanks to our action, five men are employed in social cooperatives. In addition, two people have been already invited for a job interview. Isn't that awesome? Furthermore, 3D printed items have a huge financial impact and three shops are already interested in selling our 3D printed products. In the near future, we are going to develop the production of 3D printed gadgets in order to create a stable safe channel. We plan to buy an additional device that melts tau plastic to ecological filament for a printer. And we are also going to continue working on the development of the people participating in our project. And we still carry on looking for jobs for the people in our target group. People who used to be seen as an underclass are becoming more enterprising. They earn the living. They are motivated and eager to work. They, 
they are chancing their reputation. They have a great future ahead of them. The aim of our action is to make them realize that they are able to build something good and precious. The job enables them to return to the society. Nature, infinite source of solutions, miracle that provides new inspiration every day. Nature also inspired our team. Together, we came up with a project. Eco Farm. 12% of people in Polish society are classified as disabled. It is about 5 million people, among which 350,000 are mentally disabled. <coughs> Elderly people, on the other hand, constitute 28% of Polish society, and our population is constantly getting older. These are disturbing statistics. What's even worse is the fact that these people are left with no help forgotten by everyone and we decided to help them our next target group consists of residents living in nursing homes in Łódź such institutions struggle with one problem the lack of money and the prices of healthy organic food in a big city are really high all that with all that we came to one solution a vegetable garden one year ago, we came up with an idea of creating a project, Eco Farm. We started with a vegetable garden, which turned out to be a great success. The happiness of our beneficiaries motivated us to extend our project. We were ready to engage more institutions, nursing home at Podgórna Street, residential house at Borowa Street, and nursing home Wuknerz. While setting up one of our farms, we met Mr. Risho. Mr. Risho has childlike mind, a feature typical for mentally disabled people. For people like him, it's very important to take new actions, learn new things and develop own abilities. He's a perfect example of how being involved in organic gardening not only gives sheer happiness, but also helps to be in a good health. Taking care of vegetable garden uh, combined with the proper knowledge about methods of gardening, in other, in other words, horticultural therapy, is an excellent way to adjust mentally disabled people to social life. By now, we enabled three more nursing homes to reap the benefits of having a farm. We're preparing for further cost savings by organizing a composter for food waste. We are also using organic fertilizer from horse stable. We all strive to support the healthy food in the middle of the city. Last year, after the harvest time, we have managed a picnic during which we presented that year's crop. This year, we are going to organize again a picnic in July. We are planning to invite both deaf and homeless people in order to facilitate their social inclusion. Gardening season has just started and our beneficiaries have already spent 20 hours organizing the garden. It was for them both excellent entertainment and therapy. Basing on data we gathered last year on Podgórna Street, we predict that in the area of 140 square meters in three nursing homes and 10 types of vegetables, these houses will be able to save up to 1,000 zlotys per season. This money can be spent on the further development of a farm or on the purchase of materials needed for medical treatment. We have to bear in mind that residents from nursing homes are excluded from the labor market because of their disabilities. This is why working on a farm is so important. This is the only way for them to generate money. This year, 20 volunteers and over 35 people with intellectual disabilities are working on our farms. Our project has impacted 300 people, people who are constantly left out. But there are still many more whom we can help. We are planning to expand our project in two more nursing homes. Thanks to our project, people with limited prospects to life 
are given a goal. Working on a farm gives our beneficiaries something new. They learn new skills, they become more persistent and responsible, and they socialize. Passion, creativity, commitment. We and our actions. We are focused on the development of our projects, but the most of all, on the people we help, our beneficiaries. In the Sign Me In, we built a platform that supports the Deaf Society in the communication with the employers. In the home straight, we helped a group of people to get a job. They did not believe in the chances to reach a normal life, but thanks to our actions, their situation has indeed changed. In EcoFarm, we are trying to engage mentally disabled and elderly people in gardening and plant-based activities, which is a great therapy and an excellent to save money. Sign me in, the home straight and EcoFarm complement each other, exerting a beneficial impact on local society. We are in Actus, University of Łódź.